Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for heading over and joining me here on my YouTube channel, Septera 18. I have here a do-it-yourself packaging idea to show you and I've called it a mini packaging folder. Uh, so this video is a part one video and I'm just going to sh show you and give you a run through of the project and um, how I put it together. And then I'm going to do a part two and do the tutorial and show you how you could also make one of these. I have also put together a really fun kit as well that I will list in my Etsy shop. So you could also purchase one of the kits if you want to make um, uh, one of these using one of my kids but um, this is uh, the really cute little project and you only need to use one six by eight paper so if you have uh, your six by eight paper pads this um, project will be perfect for that size paper and uh, also in this video I'm going to show you how you can make one of these little tassels just a quick uh, basic way to make it um, in case you want to add one of these to the project that um, I'm going to show you. And then if, if I have time in this video, I'll also show you how to make one of these as well, in case you wanted to add one of these as well to your little project. Um, it's just because I think the video might be too long for me to show you um, everything. So I decided to do two parts. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the project. And it's you can see it's really chunky. I have put um, quite a lot of stuff in here. But um, it's, I had so much fun making it. Uh, so here we have, um, I have a, using some vellum as a strip to create a belly band. Just to use as a closure because it wouldn't close. But um, if you don't want to use a belly band, you can just use uh, some trim or ribbon to tie it around. But um, you can see I've got a lot of stuff in here. And then I've just got uh, some Velcro to use the, uh, to create the closure. So that opens up like that. And then this is the cover. I mean, it looks so cute. I love how it turned out. And so in the front here, I have a, uh, a, a fussy cut this uh, little pretty flower that was from a tour by tour paper uh, from Kaiser Craft. So I stuck that on the front and then I made that into a little tuck spot so I could add some die cuts in there. And I just think it looked really cute having that as a tuck spot. And then behind that is um, a circle shape that I had punched out. And then I also made that into a little tuck spot in the front as well. So you can add some little tags. I just love little tiny tuck spots. I think they're just cute little surprise little uh, places to add some little goodies. So that's uh, what I've done there. And then I have placed these little charm dangles onto the side here of the word sentiment just to add some more decoration because I love adding dangles to my projects and then here on the spine here is a little tassel where I use some of my knitting yarn to just add some interesting bit to the uh, folder and I just tied it to the little hole that I punched here and then I've got a dolly at the back and some enamel dots and so when you open this up you have over here the folder part where you add your package goodies and then I use some organza ribbon to tie it together to keep the packaging intact inside so just undo your ribbon then open up the top and bottom a flap and the side and there you have your package goodies nicely stored inside and these are just some of my little bits and pieces. So as I mentioned, you can also add some photos and you just cut your photo to size to fit in here. You can stack your photos, add some lovely trim, and then you can pop it in here. And then you can have that all closed up and then you can uh, gift this to somebody. Or again, you can add a gift card in here. You can add uh, tea bag sachets, jewelry, some sweets. So that is one side where you can add your our packaging and so then over here is a flip page and then I just embellish that side and then I've got um, I made a little file tab using some scrap papers just to look make it look like a little mini file folder and then when you turn it over this way I placed a dimensional um, embellishment on this side because it has a little bit of like a gusset here when you close it up there is a bit of a gap there so it will allow uh, some of your dimensional embellishment 
And so I thought that was a great place to put that and I used a little bit of a foam dot to the back so that your recipient can then have something extra that you wanted to gift and that would fit nicely there. Or you could also add, let me just bring some more of my embellishments. This is another one that I made a while back. It's a Valentine's theme. So again, you can just add something like that and place it there. And when you close it up, it still won't damage your embellishment. You can also add uh, like a wood pig embellishment like I have here. That would be nice to add here as well. You could place that over here like that. And then again, when you close it up, it's, it'll be okay. Or an altered paper clip. You can add a couple of paper clip embellishments here. Or I have also these. These really lovely, cute little uh, sequin shakers. And I was inspired by um, My Paper Freckles. She's on Instagram and um, she made these cute little cloud layered embellishments. And I was 100% inspired by her to make something similar to her one. And then I decided to add that onto a Polaroid shape uh, die and then added some sequins and made it into a little shaker. So I'm going to put the link down below to her Instagram page. If you um, have Instagram, she has some beautiful embellishments and projects that she makes. They're just so pretty. Um, so yeah, it was uh, by my paper freckles that I was inspired. So I made three. So I'm going to list these in my shop. If you're interested in purchasing uh, one of these, um, you'll get a random one of these embellishments. And I think they were really pretty. And again, you can add something like this to the page and add a little sequence embellishment that you made and stick it there and see again when you close it up, it'll be fine. So that's what I've done to that page. I'll just put this one back here. And then coming onto this side, I made a pocket and this pocket is great too because it sort of has like, um, it expands out. So there's like a large opening so you can add more um, bulkier package goodies and I've got in here a couple of packaged uh, embellishments in this one and these are just some of my page tab dies uh, page tab shape that I've um, packaged and they fit it in here nicely like that too again so there's room in there for that and then on the next page I had a larger image die uh, ephemera die cut and I just glued this down the bottom here and then I created another tuck spot and I placed a little mini envelope. I really love little tuck spots. I think they're just fun to have. It's always something extra where you can have a look and see what's inside your pages. So I've just done that. Or if you want to, you can add envelopes to the page and create more packaging ways using envelopes or add another pocket and that you want to make. So that went there. And then over here is another of the packaging uh, uh, part where you have the closure with the organza ribbon. So again, just opening those two up and then side. And then you have another spot to add more packaging. Or you can also add more photos here. So you could give somebody um, a whole heap of photos or your Instax photos. So that's a great little way to add that, especially if you have teenagers that like to use uh, Instax uh, Polaroid photos. Great way to gift them something like that. So I just wanted to show you this um, really fun packaging ID, making it into a, as a little mini packaging folder. So that is, I won't close this up. So that is how it looks like. Again, you can see you can fit a whole heap of stuff if you wanted to. So I'm going to do part two in another video now and show you how you can make one of these. And I'll also show you the kit in that video, which has um, pretty much everything like you've seen in this project for you to make. Um, so that will be in that video. But let me just show you how you can make one of these really easily. And um, in case you wanted to make one. So all I've done was I've just got um, one of these, what they call like a knitting yarn wool, or you could use uh, embroidery floss. You can use whatever you like. 
and then I'm just going to grab um, this is just um, one of my cards from my shop so you just want something about the same height as a card and I'm just going to make a basic tassel so this is not um, I mean there's a lot of videos out there that you can make but this is just my quick way of making it just to make it nice and simple like this without any tools so what I've done I'm going to leave a little tail at the end and I'm only going to wind it around about eight times. So the more you wind it around, the more thicker your tassel is going to be. So this is only about eight, eight times going around. All right, so I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to just trim off that end. I'm going to grab another length about say 10 inches long or 30 centimeters it's about that long and you're going to thread it through one side like that and then you're going to just tie a double knot nice and tight it doesn't matter where and then you're going to do another knot tight just like that and then you're just going to now slide this out of your card so you have that now these are the two ends from where you wound the yarn I'm just going to trim that off so it's easy enough so you can see okay so now you have that you're now just going to grab another piece again little bit shorter than the um, the other length and you're going to just line that about there and you're going to just try and grab onto it all as best you can grab that piece and you're going to wind it around to create like a, a neck a neck for the tassel and you want to wind it around about five or six times one two three four five all right six that'll do so grab that piece and that other little piece that you had whichever thing was this one here and then you're going to tie it up Oops, come out sorry and then just tie it up so it doesn't come undone and just do a double knot So now you'll have it looking like a tassel, somewhat like a tassel. And now what we're going to do, I'm just going to turn it out this way so it's easy for me. I'm going to just trim off all of that part that's all been folded over. And then just trimming it down to however long you want your tassel to be as even as you want so like that and then that's pretty much all there is to your tassel so then you have this long piece here and that is what will get threaded through your little hole here on the spine of your uh, booklet and then you just tie a little bow and then you have yourself a little dangle but to keep it dangling like this what you want to do first with this part here I just tie I grab them both and tie another knot first just like that about so far down and then bring it in so that way that dangles so you can see and then you'll be able to thread this piece through the hole and then Quite a knot, which I'll show you in the uh, next uh, part two video on how I put this through. So I just wanted to show you how to make this little tassel if you wanted to give it a go this way. Otherwise, there are other videos. I also have another tassel video tutorial in one of my other videos as well. But I just wanted to show this project share and then I'll do part two and show you how to make this really fun mini packaging folder. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.